nobody fucking with me, nigga. Ain't nobody fucking with me. Ain't nobody fucking with me. Ain't nobody fucking with me. Cause I got on. Welcome back, best unit crew. It's your girl. I'm back to do something simple, hopefully. Uh, I'm going to try and decorate this little pacifier. And I'm going to try and make a um, pacifier holder. With this ribbon I got from Hobby Lobby. I will be supplementing on the ribbon. This is a 100% polyester ribbon. I got, I think I paid no more than, what's it, $2.99, but I think it was like a 50 or 40% off. Got the pacifier from Dollar Tree. I will be using some epoxy stickers. I got these from Hobby Lobby also a while back. I had them for a while, so they probably was like 40 or 50% off too, and they $2.99 regular. I also have these epoxy stickers, which is from Michaels, and they come in like um, four different sizes. I am going to be using packaging label from Walmart for no more than $5 for my image. I'm also going to be using a glue gun Cricut Design Space, um, a little wheel, a badge I got from Dollar Tree. They come in a pack of three. I haven't had them for a while. It's a little badge thing the little nurses uh, wear with the screen. So I'm going to try two different techniques. Hopefully one of them work. Uh, Miss Burton brought up the... Um, the pacifier holder. She put it in a comment on live this morning when she sent me buying the uh, pacifier. I'm like, damn, that's a good idea. Let me try that. So I already got my images on my choice. I'm going to cut out with that mostly printed. I already uh, let my Cricut Design Space cut it. This is the lamb with the label paper. <clears throat> this is the label paper from Walmart. This is a regular copy paper. Uh, that I printed with my sublimation machine. And, uh, so let's get started. I'm going to go ahead and design it, and then I'll come back. From uh, Google, all I Googled was um, baby, what I said, uh, baby art. Like that. Uh, found this image here. And all I'm going to do is crop her. And I'm going to clean the background by pushing the remove tool. And then I'm just going to touch the white spot. And then it takes everything out I don't want. Now you see how it changed her necklace and her shirt? Right here where you see this little dot, the big dot, that minus sign and the plus sign. I'm going to go to the minus because I want, I want her shirt. Then if you notice, it put the color back. So I'm going to go to next. I'm going to go to next. And as you see on the left, it is a cut file, which is like a shadow. You can't see nothing. I don't want them. So this is my background I want. And I'm just going to cover her name with it. I'm going to highlight it. I'm going to action, slide over, and go to slice. There we go. So that's, that's what her name is going to look like. And I was thinking maybe I should put a background because I do want it to be uh, seen. But then I was like, well, maybe I should keep it white. I feel like that that black will be busting. Yeah, it looks like. Let me try the black. Shine it back. Yeah, I like that better. It shows up better. So, um, I'm just going to get me a shape. And I'm going to crop it as big as I can. I'm going to highlight it, go to action, go to slice. Delete what I don't need. Look at my circle. 
Make my circle big enough to fit the little girl in the writing. I'm going to put them in it. Go to edit. And make sure everything's highlighted. It's in the front. It won't let you do it all at the same time, which is bootleg to me. Okay. Let this kill. So, I like the way it looks. Try to make her a little bigger. Make my shirt grow a little bigger. Make her name stand out a little more. Let's see. I guess that's fine right there. So we're going to highlight everything. We're going to go to action. And we're going to go to attach and flatten. So now everything is together. Now that is going to be for my pacifier. So I am going to probably make that like a one inch. I'm going to make that like a one inch width and one inch height. That's for the pacifier. Go to edit. Unlock your box. Make sure your box is unlocked around your image. So we're going to go to the width and we'll push one. We'll go to the height. Come on, we'll push one. Okay, so I'm back. I think we're going to go ahead and open the pacifier. And we're going to use our image, which is this one here. I also have an epoxy sticker that I'm going to use. I like the clear looking ones better than that one. That one looks yellow. So this must be a two inch one because that ain't no way. And that one's too big. Kind of. I did do my image one inch, one inch height, but for some reason this epoxy sticker looked like it fits it perfect. Which I think is the same one as this one. This one might be a little tad different, but hey, we're just gonna we're just gonna wing it, y'all, as usual. So all I'm going to do is take my epoxy sticker off like this. I'm going to place it on top of this image here and I'm just going to smash it and take it turn it over find my scraper I don't know where my scraper is y'all I ain't never find that when I need it I just had it last night and I'm just going to scrape it on there Get the, the glue to uh, adhere to the epoxy. So that's what I'm doing. So if you got a scraper, turn it over on the back. Scrape, 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 scrape. And then pull it off because it is on, on the uh, label. And then we're just going to stick it on here. You can also use a glue if you would like to, but I feel like that the label would do just fine. If not, then you know we know better than next time. So this is what it's looking like. Okay. So we got that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay then, so we're gonna do the next one which is the little reel and I had did two different sizes I did this one a 0.9 uh, width and height but it seemed like it's the same size as that epoxy sticker 
because if I do it any smaller, it's not gonna look right. I got these uh smaller stickers and now it's not gonna look right. So we're gonna go with another. I guess this is the the nine point inch anyway. So I ever did a my uh, my sticker probably was like I guess the same as that one over there. It was a nine. My epoxy sticker was the size of a of nine or whatever. So we're just gonna mash it on there. Turn it on the back. Find something to scrape it with. I hope y'all seeing it. I ain't moving the camera too much. Like moving out the camera. Okay. And we're just gonna peel it off and put it on here. And see, um, I do have epoxy stickers that are smaller, but the image would not look right to me. So we're just going to put that on there. I don't know if you can see if I got too much light going on with. You guys see that? So you can use... You can use a glue gun on this one and hold that on it real good. And you can also use it on the pacifier if you like. Okay, so now we're just gonna go over and go to the heat press. I was going to try to put that little girl on the whole ribbon, but this one is a thin ribbon that I, I'm using. So I'm thinking more of just putting her name going down there. So we're just gonna cut the little girl off and we're just gonna get little scripts of her name. Ain't gonna be perfect, but this is a gift. I'm just giving away to somebody. I'm gonna make her a baby bottle and all that good stuff, but I gotta figure out a different way to do the baby bottle from my first video I ever made. I made a baby bottle video uh, last year on this channel, so if you want to go check that out, you can. It's not perfect, but hey, it got what they look like after it. And I kind of did a similar picture as I did with this little girl here, but for a little boy. What's going on with this one? I'm not even using. But anywho. I'm going to take you over to the heat press and we're going to press the ribbon. Uh -oh. I'm try. So I'm going to lay each other wording down across the ribbon. And I, I didn't do no measurements for it because I really don't know what I'm doing and I don't know how I'm going to get what what and how much I would actually need, you know? So I'm just winging it, y'all. I'm just going to press it. And I forgot to put paper down, but it is with you. I'll clean it later. I'm just gonna let that press for about 60 seconds and then I will come back. Okay guys, I'm back. So I messed up a little bit. On this side I got the wording going the opposite direction, then in the other two going this way. <laughs> so like I said, try and error, it is what it is. So now I need to figure out Do I I think I supposed to put this on it on this end, I think. Should I put it like this? And then
I know I need to glue. I need to glue this part super closed. So we're gonna do that. We're just gonna glue that little part first. We're gonna get the ribbon even. I'll try to anyway. Get my glue gun. A little dot of glue. I'm just going to Line it up even as possible. Smash it down right there. What you need, buddy? So we got that. Just gonna mash it there so far. Uh, and then I'm not gonna use this one. I'm gonna use this one. I guess, I guess like, I'm gonna think, let me think, I'll come back. Well guys, I, I guess I'm not gonna do it uh, two different ways. I'm just going to, Figure something out where it ain't so. I don't know. So I guess I will try to glue this in. That's stupid though. Like I said, it's our first time. We'll learn from our mistakes and we'll figure something out for next time because it's really starting to hurt my head trying to think. I thought it was going to be so simple. I swear I did. So I'm just going to. Put some glue, mash it down. Get my scissors to cut the little excess. Try to cut like a cute little pattern. I guess we can probably, you know. We can glue it onto this here. That way when it closes, it'll just clamp like that. So we'll just do that. We're just gonna take the ribbon around and glue it on that side. And we're just gonna close it up. How about that? Get the glue on the plastic maybe. It'll stay maybe, I don't know, because, you know, glue is plastic also. So we're just going to wing it. Okay. So this is what it's looking like so far. We'll put the glue on it. And then we'll just close it up like this. That looks kind of bootleg as hell, don't it? Maybe I shouldn't have glued it like that. I should have. I don't know. So this is what it's looking like. I had to super glue that because I had it on the wrong way. Well, maybe next time I figure out a better way to do it. I mean, it ain't super bad, but hey, you get an idea. Some of y'all might come up with something better. So if you do, I would love to see. If y'all have a blessed one. Make sure y'all comment, like, and subscribe to the channel. At least give me a thumbs up on this video. Y'all have a blessed day.